Hey everybody, Scott here for the Helix channel. It is Monday, and today I'm starting a brand new thing uh, where I talk about products that I use and not just, you know, pedals, amps, guitars, blah, 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 but, you know, guitar tech products. Today, the Stu, Stuart McDonald, or Stu Mac, as I call it, uh, or as everyone calls it, uh, Stu Mac fret erasers. And these are great ways to polish your frets without having to use sandpaper, steel wool, that gorgamite crap. I don't like the gorgamite because it stinks, it stains, and it's, I, it's just not for me. But uh, this stuff, super cool. Now, I've got stainless steel frets on my JTV-59, but they were not super polished when I got them installed because they didn't need to be. The, uh, they all went in straight on that brand new, uh, that new old stock Gibson uh, fretboard. So all he did was make sure that they were all seated completely level, check it with a straight edge, everything was fine. So we didn't need to polish, but I really want a polished, you know, uh, feel on those things because it makes them just, you just can't beat it. So I'm gonna show you how you use these. And I'm not gonna use the 220 because there's no need. I'm not cleaning up any scratch marks. I think I'm gonna start at like 800 grit and work my way up to 8,000, I think. I think, I'll show you what I've got. But uh, yeah, good times, shall we? Alrighty, here we are at my coffee table that I built myself, just saying. Uh, with all of the fret erasers, 220 up to 8,000. I'm not gonna use the 220, the 400, or the 800. I'm just gonna do some a uh, few passes at the 1,200, 2,000, 4,000, and 8,000. And I should be totally set. I have spent a little bit of time today. I taped off my fretboard. My fretboard? Fretboard. Let's get, uh, ooh, let's go look at, let's go tight. Back it up. Um, yeah, I have taped everything. Now I'm going to go at it with the uh, with the fret erasers, and then we're going to probably speed up the uh, the whole process using super fun iPhone uh, Seven Plus technology. So there's that. It's, and all you need to do is just a few passes with uh, with, start with the 1200. Don't be dumb. Let's uh, put them in order. We want to use them. There we go. Ending with the 8,000. So basically, you just need to uh, work on the entire surface. Just a little bit on each one. There we go. All right, now I don't have to worry about taking any material off. This is stainless steel. So all I'm doing is removing tarnish, uh, oxidation, and uh, buffing them smooth. The reason I didn't uh, cover the pickups, normally if you're doing any kind of fret work, you would cover the pickups because there would be magnetic uh, attraction to the, f the shavings, but there aren't any shavings. This is just oxidation and uh, it's ending up on the rubber, on the fret eraser. So, um, and if you were working on nickel frets, you would wanna, because there's little tiny little scratches, you would wanna make sure that you got every little angle all the way across and rotated across that radius. I'm not really sweating that so much just because this is just polishing and I could rub this thing all day with this thing I wouldn't remove even a micron of material so oh getting close just the 8,000 left they're looking good 
wipe off here. Yeah, the only thing that's coming off is uh, the front eraser material. Here and there. Some of this stuff. And remove some tape. So they're, they're finally as shiny as the uh, frets on the Parker, which came super polished from the factory. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Stupid camera. Anyway, yeah, good times. Gonna string it up, give her a play. Woohoo! There you go, everybody. Oh man, put some shine on those frets. Damn! Oh, just what I wanted because they are great frets they just weren't super polished and you know for the price that i paid to have them installed you know i didn't pay to have them super polished but uh, uh i got an incredible deal on the whole job but uh yeah these will you know do the job for any fret dressing uh professional and or amateur if you've got you know some frets that just have some tarnish on them. You don't need a fret, uh, you know, a fret dressing. You just want to get some some of that stuff off. Just go through a round of these things. Start with the low, lowest number, a couple strokes up to the next, all the way through the whole, uh, I think there's seven of them. Yeah, I've got all seven. And you will end up with mirror finish frets. All for, Jesus, I think I paid 26 bucks for uh, all seven. Can't beat that. So that is my fun tip and my product thing for the day. I don't even know what to call it yet. Product thing probably isn't, probably isn't great, but eh, I don't give a shit. I do what I want. So I will see you tomorrow with something. And until then, rock on.